Progesterone is sometimes called the male sex hormone. Its structural formula is shown below. What is the classification of the carbon indicated by the arrow? Well, first of all, let us begin to figure out what is methyl primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary carbon. Here, I give you a little guide. If your carbon is connected to one carbon only, it's, con it's called a primary carbon, and I indicated it by writing one with a little zero next to it. If your carbon is connected to two other carbons, that carbon is considered secondary. If your carbon is connected to three other carbons, this carbon is tertiary. If your carbon is connected to four other carbons, it is quaternary. And if you have just the carbon on its own, CH3, that would be a methyl group. Now, of course, every carbon has four bonds, so the rest of the bonds would be connected to the hydrogens or other elements, usually hydrogens, but we care about how many carbons they're attached to. In this picture, carbons are not shown. This is the line drawing structure. But every time you see the two lines coming together, creating a vertex, that indicates carbons. So for example, let me just begin by saying that if I have a molecule like this with three carbons, and I'm going to put all of the hydrogens here as well, just to show, because every carbon wants to have four bonds. So if I have three carbons, the way to draw it out would be like this. So every time there is end of the line or the two lines coming together here, here, and here, these are all carbons. So there is one, two, three, one, two, three carbons. And also we can see that hydrogens are not shown, but they're assumed. So hydrogens on the carbon are not shown, but because I know this carbon has only one bond, it must have three hydrogens. Now let's go back to our molecule and see where the arrow is pointing. It's pointing at this carbon. And how many carbons is this carbon connected to? Is it primary? Is it sec tertiary? Is it secondary? So this carbon is directly connected to the carbon on the left and the carbon on the right. And that's all, right? So it is connected to two carbons. And since it's connected to two carbons, it must be secondary. Of course, the carbon has only two bonds, so it's missing two bonds, which means it's connected to two more hydrogens that are not shown. But again, in this case, because this carbon is connected to one carbon on the left, one carbon on the right, two carbons only, it will be a secondary carbon. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. Please subscribe and like my videos, and I look forward to seeing you in more of my general chemistry and organic chemistry videos.